easy or difficult it is now for people to travel out of Gaza? Do you want to answer that um, first? Yeah, okay. Uh, as you guys know, Gaza is under siege, which, mean, which means that it's controlled basically from every uh, area, from air, from, the land is also besieged, and from the sea as well. So it's basically very hard for us to, you know, get out and in the Gaza Strip. Um, we have two borders, uh, one with the, with the Israeli occupation, it's called Eriz, and the other one is with the Egyptians, uh, and it's called Rafah border. Um, I usually travel by Rafah, Rafah border because it's the easier uh, one to travel, because as I said before, the people from the Gaza Strip are not allowed into the Palestinian territories and Jerusalem and the West Bank. So it's basically easier for us to go to Egypt and then from Egypt go to wherever we want to go. But even when we want to travel uh, through the borders with Egypt, it's very, very, very hard to get a permit. You basically have to apply your name um, for the, the traveling and then your name might get accepted or not. And then even when your name like gets accepted for traveling, you will have to go through so many hard conditions. Uh, it's so hard to um, leave the Gaza Strip. They put you in like big buses and they, um, you know, you, you travel from Gaza to Egypt through the Rafah border. But like on your way to Egypt, it's so hard. So many checkpoints, um, so many uh, soldiers checking your belongings all the time. So many times they keep opening the bags and taking everything out and then putting it back in. So they, tr unfortunately, they treat us really badly on our on our way to Egypt. Now, the moment you get inside Egypt, it, it gets better. But, you know, the way uh, from Gaza Strip to Egypt is very hard. Uh, also, as I said before, it's very hard to get permit, even for the people who are sick, even for the people who are applying to travel because of their sickness, because they need treatment. Sometimes they are denied a permit. Uh, a lot of students who have actually who actually have visa and have a scholarship outside sometimes don't get um, to leave the Gaza Strip because of the occupation and because of the siege. So this is basically how things are going now. It's it's really hard for us to travel. <laughs>